Got a good deal on an iPod on eBay, and now you need to sync it with your iTunes library? Hi, I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, and I'm going to show you how to do just that. How to sync a used iPod onto your iTunes. And that's exactly what you have to remember, is iTunes is the key, is the gateway to getting information, songs, music, notes, calendars, contacts onto your iPod. Well, it's real simple. All you have to do is connect your iPod using the connector to your computer, USB. All right, it's up. You're going to see the do not disconnect symbol, and boom. Now let's take a look over here. In just a sec, you're going to see the iPod pop up. As soon as you connect your used iPod, you're going to get the warning. The iPod, Rokaz Media, is synced with another iTunes library. It can only be synced with one library at a time. What do you want to do? Here's what we want to do. We want to erase all the information on somebody else's old iPod and put our iTunes library on it. So we're going to select Erase and Sync. And now the syncing process is beginning. What's going to happen now is, is that all the information on the iPod is going to be completely erased. All your iTunes library is going to be freshly synced, sunk, sank, put onto your new iPod so it can be just like, well, it can be yours. <laughs> what more can you ask for? I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.